Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. So I've had quite a lot of questions about the Creality High Combo printing head and the type of nozzle that it's using and the actual insides of the actual printing head. So what we're going to do is do a very short video, only a few minutes on how to take that apart. Now you've got two bolts, one on either side. I've already removed this side, so we're just going to remove this side now. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at what type of nozzle this uses. It is the tri-metal uh, nozzle, but what it is comparison to say like the um, K2 Plus or the um, Ender 3 V3 Plus um, and the K1 Max with the quick swap nozzle. So what we want to do is see whether that's what it is and what the community are going to have to do in terms of buying it. So you've got the two... Um, parts dryers on either side you've got the front um, cooling fan for the heat sink you've got on here the filament cutter so it obviously moves across and cuts the filament you've got the inbuilt um, filament detector at the back and the actual extruder itself behind this motherboard here so once again what you want to do is remove the the heat sock off it now I did have a bit of a struggle to be fair I have already removed this once so it won't be as difficult to see just find something just to prise it down don't put too much force on it it does come off quite easy in the end but it just takes a little bit of an effort now with um, one of these spanners which you should get in your parts um, you can do this while it's cold so it is a quick swap nozzle um, literally undo it like so and then you should be able to do it by hand once you've taken the, the worst part off so I just wanted to show you what it all looks like a lot of questions have been coming up in my video about what type of nozzle it has obviously it is the tri nozzle but there is a slight difference I've noticed so I'm going to do a comparison from a spare for my um, K1 Max and you will see the difference and I don't know whether that's going to make a difference and whether I can use this on here but that's what we're going to look at now so as you can see we have got the quick swap, swap nozzle the tri metal nozzle here um, obviously does look pretty scarred up already considering I've only done several prints on this but let's take a look at the this is one of my spare 0.4 nozzles for the K1 Max. Now there is a difference. You can see the difference straight away, which is the length and the actual length of the thread as well. The concept of it's still the same, but it's the length. Now you will not be able to use this on here, I don't think, because obviously given the fact that this part is a lot lower, it's gonna have a lot of difference inside there. So what we're going to have to look for is something different to that so i don't know whether that helps anyone who's asking the questions about whether they're the same as the k1 max potentially this is the same as the k2 plus please please leave comments in the comment section um i will be posting this on socials so just answer that question because i don't have a k2 plus to confirm um, so what I'm going to do quickly now is measure it and then we'll be able to work out whether this is different and what machine it's for. Okay, so what we're going to do now is quickly measure. So this is what I use on the K2 Max, uh, sorry, on the K1 Max. Now you're looking at approximately 65 centim uh, 6 5 centimeters on that, so 65 mil in length. And the one that um, I had come on the high combo is approximately 7.6 I'd say 7.7 .7 mil or 7.7 .7 centimeters sorry which is 77.7 .7 thereabouts so no, there's a considerable difference from the quick swap nozzle which is 65 or 6.5 centimeters so there's about approximately 12 millimeters difference so 1.2 centimeter difference between the two nozzles so when you're purchasing this this is what you need to be looking at the length 
I don't know whether this is going to make any difference to that. Please answer, leave some questions and comments in the comment section for that. But overall, nice and easy to use. The High Combo has been churning out some amazing colour prints. Like I say, taking a look over the actual head itself, you've got the filament parts blowers on here. What I did notice, these are actually rubber. These um, parts blower on the side, front and back are both rubber. So that's a different one for me. I've never really come across that. Um, front fan for the um, heatsink blower over the side. And then over this bit here, you've got the touch sensor as well. Once again, the filament cutter. You've got this extruder wheel. You can swap these over and put your own designs on these. Um, it does come with a model. The actual printing head, which is here. Once again, it does come with one on the, the um, SD card that you're supplied. I did print it off just for one of my tests in the um, review video. So do check out my review video. I will leave a link in the description for that. So you can update them. You can change it to however you want. So it, it, I believe it's a step file as well in there. Um, quote, quote me if I'm wrong. But you can make modifications. Um, one thing I have noticed is this part here rubs on here. So if I run my hand on there, you'll see the residue from that. That's what that funny squealing noise is. So I don't know whether anyone picked that up in my video. Do listen out for it. Um, but that is rubbing on this. It's a bit of an oversight because it's, it's not going to do any damage to the print. But you do get quite a bit of debris, as you can see, just from that. But hope that helps everyone. Like I say, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is the nozzle you get. This is the K1 Max nozzle. Considerable difference. I've left the um, sizes on the screen now. So this one is the high combo nozzle. This one is the K1 Max nozzle. I was hoping to be able to use these on here because I've got 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. So I wanted to swap them about and see, do some tests, but it hasn't worked out. So... If anyone can answer that, if this is the K2+, Plus, it will really help the community because obviously it's always good to have spares. Um, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. That is the printing head in itself. Any other questions, please ask. I did measure the bed. Um, it isn't as thick as we'd hoped. It's less than 3 or 4 mil in thickness, so it's not very thick at all. On the actual front, let me just push this down. Along here, it's just a face plate. So if I actually run my finger on there, it goes considerably higher underneath. So once again, they've gone for the plate just to add all the information on the front. That's not actually the thickness of the bed. Um, if we take a look, so we're looking at 12 mil on the front there. That's not the thickness. I'd say probably about three to five mil. And that's probably overestimating that. Like I say, if anyone can confirm in the comment section the actual thickness, that would be great. I don't really want to take that apart to check it because there's a lot of um, issues that could arise from that. But um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Hope this helps.